And welcome back to the second half here at Calston Boys High School. Calston leading Southern Cross 20 points to 12. Just got in a few uh, other results from the championship round. So this is a six-team competition. Uh, the other game out at Manurewa High. Manurewa pulling off one of the big upsets so far. Leading perennial heavyweights St. Paul's 22-0 at halftime. And as we say that, it's like Southern Cross in for another try. Pull back the lead a little further. And in the other result from the championship round, Mount Albert leading Odahu College, 16-0 at half time. And Sepuloni's kick just to the right hand side of the posts. So it's Calston 20, Southern Cross 16. This Southern Cross side just won't go away. They keep coming back into it. And look, Calston coach Phil Gordon, he won't be happy with that start to the half, obviously. His message at half time just stick to trying to dominate the middle. You saw they had a lot of success early on with the, the big forwards through the middle of the park. But bad start for Calston. And for Southern Cross, look, they've just got to make a few stops on defence, get the confidence up, and we've seen that they've got points in them. Calston kicking off again.
A few errors starting to creep into the game now. We see both teams waste some last tackle options there. Not able to get to the kick, put themselves under pressure defensively. Kelston 20, Southern Cross 16, early in the second half. See again there, just that lack of patience on attack, probably looking for the easy way out, going wide before the, through the middle there, and another error, Kelston now with a chance to set up camp deep in Southern Cross territory. Look at that one straight off the training paddock. Scrum 45 metres out, straight off. Mossy Tamu streaks 45 down the field untouched and puts Kelston back out of reach. 24-16, eight point gap, kick to come from in front, should be 10. Kick is good from Mositamu. Kelston 26 16, 10 point gap over Southern Cross. Look, this, this situation won't be uncommon for Kelston, although they're undefeated so far this season. They have had to grind out a few wins. Mano, but Grandma took them all the way. In fact, it was a, a last minute try from Kelston, which got them over the line on that occasion. Also, Westlake, 
really tested this Kelsen side. And look, they uh, they know what to do in this situation. It's probably about getting back to grinding out in the middle and uh, working hard for that result. So Southern Cross is about to get us back underway. And the kick just wide, but Kelsen out to a pretty commanding lead now, 30 points to 16. And we've got around about 10 minutes remaining in the game.
Southern Cross starting to tire a little bit now. There's a soft try up the middle of the park. Sefapoli gets his second for the day. And Kelston out to a big lead now. And while we wait for this conversion, we'll take the chance to once again thank our College Rugby League sponsors, SAS Sports and Hayden and Rollett. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be bringing you this coverage today. And the team at Auckland Rugby League and also CTAS live streaming the team, Grant and Joseph on the cameras today. And we're back again for another round next week. Each each round we'll be streaming a selected game next week. We're at St. Paul's College in the Central City. They'll be taking on Odahu. 4 p.m. next Wednesday. And no mistake from Mossy Tama in front. Kelston 36. Southern Cross 16, and we've got about five minutes remaining in the half. And with Kelsen looking like having their first points in the bag for the championship round, we look ahead to next week and Kelsen will travel to take on Mount Albert Grammar and that was a good game in the qualifying rounds, so be a tough hit out there for Phil Gordon's side. For Southern Cross, it's a trip out south, they'll actually host Manuri, we're out at Mangari. mention about our referee today, Antoinette Mudford, uh, one of the many young ladies refereeing in the Auckland Rugby League scene this year. Uh, if you are interested in taking up the whistle, and we always need more referees to help these young people play the game, jump onto www.aucklandleague.co.nz and have a look on there. And as we say that, Southern Cross go in for a late consolation try. Siavi Togoa over next to the post and Togoa, he's a Warriors Academy player, he's training every week in the, in the Warriors Academy with some of the best players in Auckland, so great for his development and scores a nice try at the end there, it's not going to mean much but Sepuloni quickly adds the extras straight down the middle.
and after Kelston kick out on the full off the restart, Cebuloni takes full advantage. Runs through, steps through the defensive line and, and under the post. So Southern Cross rallying late here. The clock might beat them, but Cepuloni will take the kick quickly from in front of the posts. Kicks over, Kelston 36, Southern Cross 28, but the clock will beat Southern Cross today. And Kelston record their first win of the championship round, get the season off to the perfect start. A reminder that we're back again next week for the College Rugby League live stream. Back from St. Paul's College in the Central City. St. Paul's taking on Odahu next Wednesday, 4pm. Hope you'll join us for that. Thank you for watching today.